All right, blessings to everybody that's on Facebook and those of you that are on the Zoom software. <laughs> Thank you all so very much uh, for being with me and bearing with me on today. Uh, it is a great day. It is a great day. It really is a great day to be alive. So I pray that you're doing good. Those of you that are on Facebook, come on in, say hello to me. Let me know that you can hear me. Uh, let me know that uh, I'm coming through clearly. Uh, someone was very kind to uh, suggest uh, the app that we're using to add more to add music to our session. So I, I pray that uh, y'all are hearing everything clearly. How you doing? There go my aunt, Aunt Dave is what we used to call her. Aunt Dave. Uh, I bless God for all of you. Listen to everybody. Um, don't forget, there are several of you that have asked me about uh, getting uh, a reading. Please, always feel free to do that. Uh, you can text the word reading to 40691 and you can get your reading, okay? You can text the word reading to 40691 and get your reading. Um, let me make sure. Uh, can y'all hear me? LaShonda? LaShonda says she can't hear me. Now, I need those of you that are on. Let me know if you can hear me, okay? Let me know if you can hear me. Hey. Uh, so I need somebody to let me know if you, because on my system it says that you should be able to. Uh, so let me know. Those of you on the Zoom software, let me know if you can hear me. Dave Addy, you can hear me? All right. If you can hear me, say, I can hear you. <laughs> okay, my sister said, well, LaShonda, what's wrong with yours? What's wrong with yours? How you doing, Mother Evelyn? Yes, you are on the right page. You are on the right page. Do y'all hear that music in the background? Uh, can somebody say, I hear music? I hear music in the air. Hallelujah. Can somebody let me know on Facebook. Can you hear that music? Those of you that are on the Zoom software, uh, Monica says she can hear. Okay, great, great, great. Okay, so listen, everybody. Uh, don't forget that you can as well get your reading uh, with me and I enjoy doing that. I really do. I really enjoy uh, just uh, speaking and and thank you. Oh yeah, I, my sister said I can hear the music in the air. <laughs> so I bless God for you. Listen everybody, I want to go to the word of God. Like now you can hear me, LaShonda. You can hear me now. What was wrong with your computer? <laughs> Oh, sometimes we uh, sometimes we got to reset, right? We got to reset and get going again. So you got to shut down and shut it back on and all of that. Uh, or shut it down and cut it back on, or however you want to say that. I bless God for all of you. Father, I ask that you would right now open the windows of heaven and pour upon us. Inspire us, lift us, give us what we need today to continue to move forward in the name of Jesus. And it is so. Give me three people that can say amen real quickly. Uh, I hear you. I hear you. Listen, I want to go um, uh, to, to scripture. And I want to first let me say this because I always do mean this from my heart. Thank you for those of you that uh, follow Dr. Mosley, that you are always here every uh, every week. Uh, I come on Facebook every day. I try to uh, because I feel that that's something God always needs to say or he wants to say to us. So I, I come forth and I allow God to really do what he desires to do. So I thank you uh, very much. Audrey May, I see you. Audrey May, she going on, said, y'all ain't going to leave me behind. I'm, I'm going to be up with with, with, uh, with everything that's going on. So I bless God for you, Sister Scholars. Um, uh, to all of you, I really do thank you. Would you share this broadcast on your page or invite somebody to come on? Share it or invite somebody to come on and say, hey, come on over. Let's enjoy the power of God together. Let's see what God has to share with us on today. So you ready? You ready? Oh, you're more than welcome, LaShonda. God bless y'all. Listen, everybody. Uh, I want to talk about um, spiritual, being spiritual, okay? I want to talk about being spiritual. Spiritual, okay? So, anybody, are you ready to be spiritual? Let me move my picture on over here. Let's do that. Um, now, I've talked about this before, but I want to go a little bit further, and I'm going to change just a little bit. But, somebody write this for me. I am spiritual. I need you to write that for me. I am spiritual. How you doing, Edrika? 
Blessings to you. Those of you that are on the Zoom software, pass the most of their love. Yeah, I see you, Miss Dixon. How you doing? Is that the Cooper family? Hey, how y'all doing? I pray God is blessing everyone. And after our time today, I believe that God is going to bless us even more. I believe that God is going to bless us even more. And so we're ready for what the Lord desires to do. I am spiritual. I am, I am spiritual. What does spiritual mean? Now, this is just a review and it's a quick review, but to be spiritual means to go beyond the natural. Go beyond the natural. Now, there's a reason why the Lord had me to review this on today, but I want to go beyond, oh, that old lady Amelia, I'm going beyond the natural, not just what I see on the surface, all right? I want us to practice being spiritual. In anything that you do, I want us to practice. Oh, 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 my screen doing something funny again. <laughs> I want us to practice being spiritual. To be spiritual, uh, it means to look at the heart. Look, look at the heart of the matter. Everything is not on the surface. It's a lot of things that are in the, you, somebody write this, look a little deeper. Somebody write that for me. Look a little deeper. God is really asking us, now if you Christian, you know, man, look at the outward appearance, but God looks a little deeper. We need to practice looking a little deeper. Too many of us, including myself, we have looked on the surface. I know they didn't just, 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 just roll their eyes at me, but wait a minute, let me go a little deeper. <laughs> let me go a little deeper. You know, so I know my child just didn't slam that, though, wait a minute, I, I'm about to get the belt, but now hold it. Let me also go a little deeper. That's not their normal behavior. That's not their normal behavior. So it's got to be something. Maybe they're having problems at school. But before I knock the crap out of them, let me go a little deeper. All right? How you doing, Miss Walker? I got to look a little deeper. That's not how they normally act. Now, and I want this to really get into somebody's mind. We got to practice being spiritual. We got to practice. To be spiritual, one must become more sensitive to feelings. Sensitive. And uh, some of them are, I, I don't know how to be the perfect parent or the perfect this or the perfect husband or the perfect wife. Or, uh, but you know what? That's not required to be perfect. But what we must do is become spiritual. To become sensitive. Now, can somebody uh, uh, pray that prayer? Lord, help me to become spiritual, to look beyond, to become sensitive. I want to become sensitive. If you really want to be a better spouse, let's become spiritual. Does that make sense to somebody? If you really want to become a better worker on your job, Lord, help me to become spiritual. And to be spiritual, one must constantly progress. I realize this. I don't have it all right now. And life changes. You all know that. You, now, you know, there's a word, that, there's a saying that they say in the world, quote unquote, but I've heard some of us as Christians say it too, that say stuff happens. Well, you know the other word that they use. Well, we got to continue to progress. I know things happen, but I want to become spiritual. I want to be sensitive to what is going on. I know the coronavirus is out and, and a lot of people are like, oh, what are we going to do? Well, you know what we're going to do? We're going to become spiritual. We're going to become spiritual. So now in spiritual, uh, uh, many believers are no longer a slave of sin, but some of them have become a prisoner of the church. Now, I said that for a reason. Let me move on a little bit because some of us, you know, we're wondering, okay, what are we going to do now that we, 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 well, now in Georgia, they're letting people go back to church. But uh, at one time, the church is closed down, the, everything closed down. What do we do? Well, God is saying too many of us have been, in a sense, spoiled by the building or even the pastor. I hope I haven't spoiled you all. But some people have been even abused by the pastor. Hold on, I'm going somewhere. How you doing, Anita? Sometimes uh, uh, the question I ask is, has the pastor's authority stripped you of your freedom? You, anybody, 
Well, let me just go say it this way. We are supposed to be free in spirit, free in God. But too many times I've come across people, well, uh, I feel like doing this, but my church said I can't do this. I, God led me to pray for this, but they told me don't do this. I, there was one person called me and said, Dr. Moses, I had a prophetic word for somebody, but my pastor told me don't prophesy, don't do this in the church. And I can understand. I said, well, now, there may be some parameters. Have you talked with the pastor? Have you, uh, because some things are not supposed to be, may not be conducive. Maybe it's time for you to pray. No, I, I, I really, I went to them and I told them what the Lord told me. And I, he said, don't say nothing. And, you know, it was the energy for what I understood why the pastor didn't want her to say it. It was the energy behind it uh, that the pastor was feeling. Some people feel intimidated as you begin to grow. Can I get a few hearts right there? Some people feel intimidated and even some leaders begin to feel intimidated as you begin to grow in God. Now, I want to encourage you today to become spiritual, to grow in God. Use your gifts, your talents, your abilities. Huh? You want, I want to use, as Dr. Maddie Clark told her daughters, use the gift that God has given you. Use it. I want, now, I know we, we want, you know, the other people, not your, many people want the prophecy, tell me about my house, tell me about my car. Well, you're going to get that, but in order to get it, a lot of times you got to become spiritual. You got to go beyond. So to be spiritual, one must be sure to submit to the spirit. Submit to the spirit of God that is within you. Has the pastor's authority stripped you of your freedom to submit to spirit? And you know what, you all, some of us, and let me say this really clearly, some of us have been so afraid of not, you know, pleasing man, as Mother Evelyn said, that we just, we, we don't, you know, I know what God is saying, but no, mm -mm, I, I'm scared, I don't want to do nothing. I don't want to ever teach you. I don't want to ever, if I'm your spiritual teacher, I don't want to ever teach you where you become so dependent on me. Does that make sense? I want you to use your gifts. I want, this is Dr. Mosley talking. Somebody said, talk back. <laughs> I want you to be able to prophesy, to sing, and to, to preach, and do what God has called you to do. I don't want you to be so limited by me or confined by me, hindered by me, blocked by me. I want you to follow spirit. Follow the leading of God. Now, it is true. Let me, I, I got to make some sense of this. We do want to have guidance. We do want to have training. But the training is to perfect your gifting. Anybody, anybody want to, to really, when I studied music, I wanted to train. When I studied hypnotherapy, I wanted training. When I studied spirituality, I wanted the training. Teach me and let me know what I need to do. I want to perfect. Can I get one person that can testify? I want to perfect my spiritual ability. Now, some of you can say abilities. I want to perfect my spiritual abilities. When I felt like God was calling me to prophesy, I just didn't trust what I was hearing. No, I bought book after book after book after book. I still buy books. I want to know what, what is your experience? What have you uh, encountered? What is somebody else? Uh, let me learn from you. I just believe I want to perfect. Am I making sense right there? I want to perfect. My spiritual abilities. I want, uh, uh, I want to get stronger in God. I don't want to just sit here and, and just, well, the, the Lord, some things are going on in your life and people are jealous of you. And oh, I hear the Lord telling you, but it's going to be over after a while. God's going to move. But the Bible tells us that. The Bible tells us that. I don't need to, you don't need to call me a prophet just because I'm just rehearsing or repeating what the Bible says. Ooh, sound like I'm fussing. I don't mean to fuss, but am I telling the truth? Oh, I'm, you got some desires hidden in your heart. And oh, God's showing me some desires. And I, I don't know what it is, but the Lord is telling me he's going to work it out for you. That's what the Bible says. 
I should know you, you the prophet. Come and tell me a little bit more. I got the book. You should be able to give me more insight than to what the book said. Can I get another amen right there? Lady Anita says, even a great parent teaches their child to grow and function independently for uh, their own success in life. If you love me, you will teach me to be greater than you and celebrate my growth. That's the way you should be. I taught all of my children, especially my older boys, you know, you don't need to wash your clothes. You don't, they, they don't call me today and find, Daddy, how do I wash my clothes? And boy, don't you make me look like I was a bad parent. <laughs> You, you know, don't you do that? I, you know, lady, you know, you taught you how to do this. You know, you, you, you am I making sense? God want us to perfect what we know how to do. I learned something from the Metropolitan Church, uh, and and it's a spiritual church, and we talked about that. Spiritual means going beyond. Uh, uh, the one thing I found out is spirit is never born; therefore, spirit never dies. So in other words, those that have crossed over, we still believe that their spirit is still hovering around us. We just still believe that. That's why some of you and some of you have called me privately and asked me questions. I feel somebody in my house. <laughs> That's because spirit is never born. The flesh is born. Hmm? Being spiritual is a way of life. That's why we some people call themselves the spiritual church. I associate, I do associate with the spiritual church. It's because they believe, we believe, I should say, that spiritual is a way of thinking, thinking beyond, not just on the surface, not just on the present, but thinking beyond. Now, somebody write those two words, think beyond. Think beyond. Now, I'm getting ready to turn a corner with, 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 my, with my teaching on today, so I need you to have that. Think beyond. Somebody said, no, nah, spiritual church, they believe in all that, that, that stuff. No, it's thinking beyond. Like we say, he looked beyond my faults and he saw my needs. I want us to be spiritual. I need to think beyond. Sometimes we're like, well, my car ain't working. What, what? God may be trying to tell you. Maybe you don't need to go nowhere today. <laughs> you know, some uh, 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 sometimes we have little issues and, well, maybe the Lord is trying to tell you. You don't need to do that today. We need to think beyond what it is. Why is this, why is that child acting like that? Why are they withdrawn? Why are they, why are they in their room all the time and, and all the curtains are, it's just dark and, and what? Oh Lord, what's going on? We got to think beyond. Being spiritual means thinking beyond the now. Thinking beyond the now. Can we move further? So now this is where I needed to go. The spiritual ball is in your court. The spiritual ball is in your court. My wife is telling me something. She says, Dr. Mosley, that is a loaded statement. Can you unpack this? Spirit is never born. I like the way she, can you unpack this? Go ahead, old lady Amelia. Can you unpack the spirit is never born, therefore spirit never dies? And basically what that is saying is we have no record of spirit being born when uh, God, and this is a, this is another teaching that I really need to do, and I will do it. Uh, but let me just give you a little glimpse of it. God breathed into man, and he became a living soul. God breathed his spirit. So spirit, and I'm getting ready to go somewhere with that too, just a second. His spirit is in us. When he breathed into man, that's when we became alive. When uh, uh, when someone departs, that spirit departs out of them, and that's when we say, oh, they died. Really, they just transitioned. The flesh is still here, but the spirit has gone uh, into the spiritual realm. So spirit is never born. Only the flesh is. So when you say that I feel like I've seen people or I had a conversation with this person, and some people really do, the Bible does say that we have a cloud of witnesses that are around us. So let us run this race. In other words, can somebody write this? I am never alone. I have brothers and sisters that are on that other side. 
that spiritual realm that are here to assist me. Sometimes, somebody write that I'm never alone. The reason why that car did not hit you sometimes because it's like, I don't know how I got out of that because that was an angel that was with you that said, hey, hold that car. All of a sudden it's like, and one person did tell me like, Dr. Mo, somebody like took the wheel and did something. I said, that's because that was a spirit that was with me. Well, I got into an accident. The spirit wasn't with me. Yes, it was, but that was part of your journey. Some things are part of our journey. Well, why the Lord allowed me to have high blood pressure? It's because it was part of your journey to your pathway of success. That's why the Bible speaks about let every man work out his own soul salvation. Everybody had their own path to success. Can somebody write that for me? That's not on my notes. <laughs> Am I teaching good? Everybody has their own path to success. How you doing, Amina? Everybody. So what works for one person may not work for you. But everybody. Well, honey, back from 30 years ago, when I did this, that was probably you. That was, that was your path to success. Honey, I prayed and God took the cigarettes right out of my hand. That's what he did for you. But I prayed and he didn't take them out of mine. I'm just saying as an example. So I may have another path. I may have to go to counseling. I may have to go through the patch. Or I may have to go through, call Dr. Moses for hypnotherapy. Everybody has a different path or their own path to success. I pray this is making sense. But in church, many times we want you to do it this way. Everybody, you 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 got to do it this way. No, God, can I say it like this? Can I say it like this, everybody? God is beyond any denomination. God is beyond, don't get me mad, don't get mad at me, I love everybody, I really do, but God is beyond the Baptist church, God cannot be confined in the church of God in Christ, God cannot be confined in the spiritual church, God cannot be limited in the Presbyterian church, he's beyond all of that. He is beyond. No, God is not a Christian. God is God. We define ourselves as Christians. God is God. Did that make sense? Hmm? So we got to understand, well, honey, if you're going to make it into heaven, you got to join our church. You got to be a Jehovah Witness. Not necessarily. That may be your path. Huh? Am I teaching all right? So now, uh, uh, let, let, let's go back here. The spiritual ball is in your court. Now, what are you going to do with it? What are you going to do with it? You know what? Since this quarantine, it did, it closed a lot of the buildings. We understand that of the church. But God is saying, now, what are you going to do? Because the church ain't closed. The church is supposed to be in you. The power of God is supposed to be in you. Oh, we can meet, and I thank you all. Please know I appreciate all of you for meeting me online. But now God is saying, hey, the power is in you. What are you doing? All this Sunday school that you've been, been involved in, all this shouting and dancing and in the church, you should know those some something, something. So now what are you going to do with all this Bible and all this prayer techniques and all of this? You know how to fast. You know what the Lord told me one time? And it's true. You know too much to be poor. I need one person to write that for me. I know too much to be poor. Or let's say it this way. Let's make it nicer. I know too much not to have money. <laughs> you know too much not to have money. I know how to pray. I know how to fast. I know, I, I know how to go before God. I know different methods of praying. I know how to pray with the candles. I know how to pray with the oil. I know too much. I, I know how to prophesy. I know how to hear from God. I know how to get into his presence. I know how to praise him. I know how to worship him. I know too much uh, not to have money. Where is all that just equal to money? No, but I will tell you what, if I need money, I know the scripture said whatever I need, God can provide it for me. 
So I know too much. I, I just know entirely too much. Some of you need to look back on your spiritual resume. What have you gained? All this knowledge was not for nothing. It was for you to succeed. I'm just to prove it to you. I, 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 I'm about to prove it. Does that make sense, Sister Walker? Does that make sense? You know too much, Keisha? Ooh, I feel the Holy Ghost, y'all. I'm getting happy here. <laughs> Drinker, you know too much. Is there anything too hard for the Lord? Isn't that what he said? Johnny Lee, we know too much. Hey, shut up. I'm getting happy here. I know too much God is with me. I know that he is. So therefore, the ball is in my court. And you know what, ladies and gentlemen? We got to play to win. We got to play to win. That's what I heard the Lord say today. Play to win. Play to win. We got to put the ball is in the court, in your court. Now, you know, I'm, I, I'm not very sports oriented. Lady Amelia is more than me. But, but one thing I know, one, when they get that ball, and she just, um, I congratulate her when they go back to school. Uh, uh, she is now going to be uh, a coach. Uh, and at the middle school, so yeah, she she knows what to do. When when you get that ball in your hands in your court, that's why sometimes them coaches start hollering, "Do this, da 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 da," because hey, we gotta win. Can somebody write that? I gotta win. I gotta win. We gotta play to win. You got the ball. You got the prayer. I feel the Holy Ghost. Somebody pray with me here. I'm trying not to get too happy. You got the prayer. You know how to fast. You know how to go before God. You know how to worship God. You know how to sing before the Lord. You know how to come before the Lord. You know how to read. You know how to pray. All of this. Hey, the ball is in your court. You, you got to win. The, some, <laughs> you got that ball. Oh, and then if you don't do right with the ball, you got the ball and you just drop it. I don't know what to do. What? You done, you done lost the game for the team. You done lost. Who? And, and anybody competitive on here? Anybody competitive on here? Just be honest. Just say, I, I am. <laughs> anybody competitive on it? You can't lose. Ooh, you just sit on the bench. And stay there. <laughs> you stay there. You don't get. You don't know. You don't get on the court. You stay there on the bench. You just sit down. In fact, take off your uniform. Go hit the showers. I need some people that are ready to win. The ball is in your court, and now everybody, you got to win. Oh my God, you got to win. Now you are. Uh, uh, I was watching the funeral of Kobe Bryant, and Shaq O'Neal said that as he told this, you know the story. You know, some look at some of y'all, y'all, y'all competitive. Anita said I'm competitive. Keisha, <laughs> for Keisha, I have a, I have a feeling you are. <laughs> some people I don't even play. I don't play Uno with them because they're too competitive. I, that, that you make my blood pressure go up. You know, he told Kobe Bryant. He said, "Now the team is saying, you know, there is no I in team." But we know what Kobe Bryant said. But there is an M.E. in that. That's you. Now I need somebody to write two words. That's me. And somebody write that for me. That's me. That's me. That, that's you. Now, I know that's no I and team, but that's me. That There's an M.E. in that word. There's an M.E. in that word. And do you know what, saints of God, I'm getting too happy here. Do you know what? God is looking at me, meaning you. God is looking at you. I know there's no, 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 I and team, but there's an M.E. And God is looking at me. He's looking at what, what are you doing with what I've given you? How you doing, Dr. Jackson? What are you doing with what I've given you? You know, somebody got to understand that God's looking at me. When the ball is in your court, the coach is looking at you. When the ball is in your court, the coach is looking at. Now, somebody help me write that. The coach is looking at me. 
The coach is looking at me. The television cameras are looking at me. Why? Because I got the ball. The, the, the crowd in the stands, they're looking at you because you got the ball. You have the anointing. You have the prayer. You have the power of God. You have the know-how. You're the one that's fasting. You're the one that's praying. Everybody, all eyes, Renee, all eyes are on you. Davetta, all the eyes are looking at you. Johnny Lee, all eyes are looking at you. God is looking at you. The coach, God himself, is looking at you. What you going to do? I've given it to you. I gave you the word. I gave you the book. I gave you the song. I gave you the message. All eyes are looking at you. Now, what you going to do with it? But Lord, they haven't done this. But Lord, but you got the ball. I again, I have never played on team, not that uh, competitive, not sports oriented. But I know when that ball is in your hand, you got to know who to pass it to. You have to know where to go with that. You got to know everybody. The other team members are looking at. My God, the everybody else is looking, the cheerleaders are looking at. Everybody is looking at you, and I come to tell somebody, you have the ball right in your hand. Everybody is looking at you. I know that's not an I in team, but there is, there is, a, there is one in the word win. <laughs> now, I need somebody to write that I win. <laughs> if you want to know, this is part of my character. Dr. Jackson, uh, Moses, tell me something about you. I win. I win. Whatever game I'm in, I'm, I win. That's why I'm a winner. Why are you a winner? Because I win. I, I y'all all about you. Y'all done got happy. I done got happy. I done got happy. I win. I win. Did you catch that, everybody? I win. The coach is, they hand me the ball because they know if anybody can do it, Kobe can do this. If anybody can do it, Shaq can do this. If anybody can do this, Mosley can do this. Why? Because Mosley has a reputation of winning. Whew. Huh. Mosley has a reputation of winning. He knows how to handle stress. He knows how to handle pressure. Somebody, you got to realize, you have a reputation of winning. Johnny Lee, you have a reputation of winning. Nisha, you have a reputation of winning. Lady Anelia, you have a reputation of winning. Lord, let me get through with this one. I'm telling you, I feel the anointing. The Bible said, let me let me go to the need of the Lord, I feel the Holy Ghost. Anybody else? Do y'all feel it? <laughs> and Drinker said, I'm screaming, I win. All I do is win, win, no matter what. Come on. I, the Bible says, he said, go into all the world and preach the gospel to all creation. Whoever believes, now I'm telling you to go do this now because you got this. You got this. You hear me? You got this. So now, whoever believes and is baptized will be saved, but whoever does not believe will be condemned. And these signs will accompany, or the King James Version says, follow those who believe. That that argument, as I and believe, these signs shall follow them. What, what are some of the signs? In my name. In my name will they drive out demons, they will speak with new tongues, they will pick up snakes with their hands, and when they drink deadly poison, it will not hurt them at all. They will place their hands on sick people, and they will get well. Now somebody said, you mean you're going to go pick up a snake? Let's make some sense of this real quickly. All he's simply saying is this is the proof. All this is simply saying is somebody write this. I am unstoppable. I need somebody to write that. I am unstoppable. Good God Almighty. He said, because what he's simply saying is these signs shall follow them. Anything that get in your way, a demon, drive it out. You need to say something else to overpower what somebody else cursed you out with. You overpower their spell, speak another tongue. A uh, snake in your way? Oh, we got what we call snake handlers. People can handle a snake. Oh, they uh, uh, call the snake handler. Uh, uh, get, get rid of it. You know, some people have really trained snakes. Get rid of it. You have the Anything that tried to block you, you better, you better move it. 
They will pick up snakes with their hand. Get out of here. And when they drink deadly poison, or if it should happen to get into their system, it, you know what? It ain't going to hurt. All he's really saying is, no matter what come your way, from witchcraft to the serpent to the to the negative words, the spell, if somebody try to hoodoo and voodoo you and with all of this, it's not going to happen. It's Listen, you may vomit because that's what I'm. I got to get that out of you. You 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 may have different little things, but I, I, this ain't gonna kill you. Why? Because you unstoppable. Thank you, Jesus. You are unstoppable. These are the signs that makes you a winner. You are un, the ball is in your court. And look what, what look what the scripture says. The verse 19, Mark 16 and 19. After the Lord Jesus had spoke to them, he was taken into the heaven and he sat on the right hand of God. Oh, Lord, my time running out. Look at here. Heaven, let me just throw this out there. Heaven is really in your mind. Because where where does God live? God lives in you. So if God lives in you and God is in heaven, heaven is within you. That peace of heaven, that peace of God is in you. Heaven is in your mind. So guess what now? Where is the Lord Jesus? I said this the other day. You have two sides. You have a natural side and a, or a human side and a divinity side. Heaven is really within you. So now, let me move one, verse 20. Then the disciples went out and preached everywhere. Quarantine, it, it, now you got to preach. Now, now, if you can sing real good in your church, you should be able to sing real good in your backyard. You can sing real good at your house. You could, you could preach real good on, on, uh, at the bus stop. You can encourage somebody wherever you are. It shouldn't just work at the church, is what I'm trying to say. So now we like the disciples are going everywhere. We on we on the uh, online. My wife and I was uh, surfing through the, just the internet yesterday. She said, "Oh my God, everybody's on Facebook. Everybody now, because we got to go beyond the four walls of the church." And listen here. And the Lord worked with them. Let me repeat that. Then the disciples went out. Somebody write that because I hear this in my spirit. It's time for me to get out. It's time for me to get out. It's time for me to get out. I got, I got, I got, I got work to do. It's time for me to get out. I gotta get out. I gotta get out. I gotta get out. Can somebody write that? I gotta get out. It's time. The disciples went out and preached everywhere. They started preaching. They started doing. They started believing God, and the Lord worked with them and confirmed. Confirmed his word by the signs that accompanied it. The Lord worked with them and confirmed. Did you catch that part? Now, where was where's the Lord? Remember, he's within. So as you go out, we used to sing a song in church, take the Lord along with you everywhere you go. Take the Lord along with you everywhere you go. We, and Veronica, you remember that? We would say, take him with you. Now, how can I help but take him with me? We a package deal. <laughs> can somebody write that for me? Me and the Lord, we a package deal. Me and the, if you take me, you're taking him too. Me and the Lord, we are package deal, Mother Evelyn. So therefore, wherever I go, he goes with me. I need somebody to realize this. I got to come back to this on, on Tuesday, but I need you to realize this. The Lord, me and the Lord are a package deal. So I need it to be understood that wherever I go, he goes with me. So wherever, now, now, wherever I go, what did I say? He goes with me. Wherever I go, he goes with me. Did you catch that part? Wherever I go, that's an I and win. So wherever I go, winning goes with me. Wherever I go, God, healing goes with me. I'm about to shout. Wherever I go, success goes with me. Wherever I go, Woo! 
I feel, y'all, I, I need to, I really need to calm down. I know I'm getting too happy here. Wherever I go, God's anointing goes with me, and he confirms. Woo, thank you, Jesus. He confirms. Are y'all catching what I'm saying here? Me and the Lord, we are a package deal. Me and the Lord, we are a package deal. We we go together. We go together. So I need this to understand. Heaven is within you, so God is within you. God is. God is within us. Can I go one more? Can I go one more? Listen, so therefore, what are your signs? I got to go here before I... What are your signs? Your signs are your successes. Your signs are your successes. It is your, your prosperity. Did you catch it? Our signs are our signs. These signs shall follow them that believe. What, what is it? What are you believing God for? In other words, it's saying that you are unstoppable. That's what he's really saying to us, everybody. You must know that God is with you. Your success is proof that God is working with you. Your success is proof that God is working. Can somebody write that? My success is proof that God is working with me. My success, that's why I got to go in. I got to get out. I can't stay. I can't keep my mind confined. There's a dream on the inside of me that got to get out. There's an anointing on the inside of me that got to get out. There's, that, that, there's an idea that's on the inside of me that got to get out. I, I, can I get somebody to praise God with me right there? There's something on the inside of me that got to get out because he said these signs. I got to prove that what may be impossible with man is, in, is possible with God. I got to prove that. Anybody working with me on that? I have to prove it's something. God has given you something. And your success. Because he said he worked with them. As they went out, the Lord God worked with them and he confirmed it. That's why I come to tell you, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Your success, oh, I feel the Holy Ghost. I really do. Can somebody just begin to praise God right there? Your success is proof that God is with Ooh, That's why, that's why. Some of you, I, I'm telling you, I'm prophesying right now. That house is yours because God wants to prove that he is with you. That car is yours because he wants to prove that he is with you. That healing is yours because he wants to prove that they said it could be done. But I'm going to prove that it is so I can do what is seemingly impossible. Oh, be a Sunday, Y'all, I done got myself all happy. I done got myself all happy here. God is saying, I am the Lord your God. Is there anything, any, anything? I need somebody to work with me on this one. Is there anything? Come on. That's too hard for me. I know somebody, you were, de you were denied that position. You were denied that, that opportunity. But God is saying, let me show you what else I can do. I allow the denial to show you how I can bring forth a comeback. I allowed the denial that I can show others how I can produce a comeback. Oh my God, I see that old show that used to come on TV called Welcome Back Carter. You know what somebody, God is saying, welcome back, Nisha. Welcome back, Johnny Lee. Welcome back, Lady Adelia. Welcome back, Michael. Welcome back, Veronica. I come to tell you, they thought you were over. They thought it was over. They thought you were done. But God is saying, welcome back, Tress. Welcome back. You are unstoppable. Why? Because the scripture said, greater is he who is within you than he that is in the world. Oh, I'm welcoming you, God. I'm welcoming you right now. Anybody grabbing this? Anybody grabbing this? And you know what God is saying? Welcome back. Welcome back, Gene. Welcome back. My anointing is with you. Welcome back. Come on. Come on. Welcome back to your dream. Welcome back to your idea. Welcome back to your success. Because your success is the proof that I'm with you. 
Your success is the proof that I am God. Many people would not believe who he is because they don't see no proof. Oh, he ain't nobody. They talking about this God, but he ain't nobody. But that's why God is saying, I need, I need, I need your success. I need, I need you. I'm about to shout. I need you to get that house because it's proof that I can do it for you. I need you to get that car because it's proof that that's nothing too hard. Whatever they can have, you can have it too because you're my child. Whatever that, you can have it too. Can somebody write that for me? I can have it too. <laughs> God wants to prove you can have it too. God wants to prove, welcome back. Welcome back. Come on, welcome back. God wants to prove. I know it looked like it was hard and you gave up on that degree plan. I know it looked like it was hard and you gave up on that marriage. I know it was hard and it looked like you gave up on dating again. I know it was hard and it looked like that business was never going to get off the ground. But I come to tell you, welcome back. Welcome back. Come on. Welcome back to your dream. I'm going to prove who I am. I'm going to prove that they that sow in tears shall reap in joy. I'm going to prove that you can do all things to Christ which strengthens you. I'm going to prove that I really am your shepherd and you shall not want. I I am going to prove that I am the Lord. And there's nothing too hard. Nothing too hard. Oh, I feel the Holy Ghost. Listen, I want you to plant your seed offering today. I want you to get, I want you to prove that yes, I am, I am wealthy. I am blessed. I am the head. I am not the tail. I am abundance. I am successful. I am good. I am great. I am provided for. I am that I am. Listen, get your offering. Those of you that have that $100 seed, I want you to plant it. Those of you that have that $88 seed, I want you to plant it. Those of you who have your tithe, I want you to plant it. That $11 seed offering, I want you to plant it right now. The cash app is on your screen. Plant it right now. I am, you are the proof. Can somebody write that? I am the proof that God is real. Woo, y'all, I done got too happy here. Oh, somebody write that. I am the proof. <laughs> that God is real. I am the proof. I am the proof that God is real. Come on. I want you to, Johnny Lee, you are the proof. You are the proof. Don't stop your, your don't, don't stop moving in your mind. Get the boxes still packed. Come on. Get the boxes still packed. Come on, everybody. I am the proof that God is right. Sister Sholas, it may look like it was rough. It may look like it was hard, but God is saying you are the proof that I am real. Oh, but Lord, at my age, can you do this? Oh, watch me. Watch me do it through you. Watch me give you your desire. Watch me. You are the proof. Gene, you are the proof. Is there anything too hard? Come on, Anita. You are the proof. Dave Vada, oh, I've been prophesying to you. You are the proof. You are the proof. God, God, God is with you. God, Y'all, I, 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 I done got myself all happy here. You are the proof that God is real, that God is with you. You are the proof. Somebody ought to praise him right now. I, are y'all feeling him? You're the proof. Melinda, blessings to you, my dear. You're the proof. God, God needs your success. He's craving for your success. He said, come on, dream bigger. Dream bigger. Come on, add more to that. Come on, Rasandaya. I can do more than just a truck. Come on, I can do more than just a house. I can give you the furniture that you need. I can do it for you. I, oh my God. You're the proof. Plant your offering right now. Plant your offering right now. Oh, you are the proof. That God is real. You are the proof right now. Y'all, I'm sorry. I done got all happy here. <laughs> Evelyn said, yeah, just watch me get it. Even, no matter, but Lord, I didn't graduate high school. Okay? But I did, says the Lord. I know everything you need to know. All I need you to do is follow me. All I need you to do is follow me. All I need you to do is work with me. All I need you to do is believe in me. All I need you to do is trust in me. Don't doubt me. Believe me. I am the Lord, your God. 
Listen, plant your offering right now. Those of you that want prayer, those of you that want prayer, I want to pray with you right now. I want to believe God with you right now. Those of you that want prayer, put your prayer request right there. I know I got it. I done got so happy here. I done got so happy here. But I want you to believe him. God is with you today. He really is, okay? He really is. So now somebody's saying, God is pulling at you to believe him for more. That's because he's saying, I need to prove more, not only to you, but to your neighbors, to that, 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 that teenager, somebody else that you don't even know. I need to prove that I am able. And the only way I could really prove that is I got to have a success. I need a model. Will you sign up for the job? Will you let me use you as a model? Will you let me use you as a model? Will you let me use you to showcase my success? Somebody just say, Lord, you can use me. You can use me. God, here, 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 here I wrote them down. Here, here's some of my dreams. And, and these are some of my ideas that you've given me. So if you want, you can use me. I, I'm willing. I'm with, now, sometimes being a model, you got to get up and when you don't feel like getting up and you got to put on the makeup when you don't feel like putting on the makeup. You got to show up when you don't feel like showing up. And God, hey, you can use me. I'm ready, God. I, I'm, I'm ready to go with it. I'm ready to do it, God. Use me. Oh, hallelujah. Use me. Use me. Somebody's asking for prayer. Healing of my mind, my body, and my soul. Sharon, I want you to know this. It really is happening. God bless you, Sister Samson. I got you. I know who you are now. I thank you for being on in Las Vegas. I'm believing the Lord. And what the word that I hear is I hear the Lord saying restore. We say restoration, but I have to emphasize the restoring. Going back to a place of mental stability. Mental comfort. Mental comfort. Mental comfort. Uh, Anita says, I had a dream that I was attacked by a dog. Not sure what the dream means. Pray for protection. Yes, somebody is after you, but you have the power. No weapon formed against you. That's God giving you a warning that, hey, somebody is trying to cause a vicious attack, but you have the power. Now, what that also means is you got something or you may be treading somewhere where people don't want you to go. But God is saying, I am your protector. You go on. You go on and let me show others that that dog ain't going to stop me. Isn't that what I just said? You will pick up the snake, move the snake out the way, whatever. You are unstoppable. Anita, say that for me. Write that for me. I am unstoppable. Write that for me. I am. That's what I want you to grab from that dream. No matter what may come, I'm not going to operate in fear. I am unstoppable. Good morning, Tammy. How are you doing? Sister Audrey says, Lord, you can use me. Somebody, I need you to grab that. Did you get a chance to plant your offering on today? The cash app is on the screen, the PayPal. Those of you that are on the Zoom software, you can text the word increase to 40691. Yousef, you got it. You got it. God, I need you to remember this, Yousef. God is with you. Remember what I said. Now, that means something. That means you're all a package deal. So when you get the job, hey, God is with you. All right. When you get the job, y'all pack it. Y'all go together. You cannot lose. God is with you. Praying for restoration. What's been held up what's been, will be released. Keys to unlock and open every door that has been closed. Melinda, I believe God with you. Uh, praying my house that I use to house veterans for business up to foreclosure. Uh, it's up for close, foreclosure on the 5th of May. Loans are not in reach. Oh, but I hear the Lord really saying you shall not lose. I really do hear that. I really do hear that. The Lord saying you shall not lose. Lady Amelia says praying for our country and the president. I like that. Somebody got to pray. Somebody got to pray. <laughs> Somebody got to pray. We got to believe. As we get through COVID-19, many people will be faced with PTSD. Unemployed, these families who have lost family members during this time, business owners who still close, pastors in our churches, Lord, even uh, post-traumatic stress disorder will not, will not block us. We will move forward. We will move forward. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. 
We lift up our country. We cannot get 20 hearts right quickly, just 20. We lift up our president, God. We call our president Donald Trump. We lift him up before you that he will follow your guidance. You are greater than any political office. You are greater than any church office. You are greater than any Congress. You are greater, God. The God that we serve is greater and mighty. We lift you up, God, and we speak healing. We speak deliverance. We speak miracles. We speak blessings. We speak your abundance. In the name of name of Jesus. Is there anything too hard? Is there anything? No weapon formed against us shall prosper. Bless families, bless businesses. God, keep the family together. Keep a roof over their heads. Keep the gas in the car. Keep the car in the driveway. Keep things in our possession. God, let us maintain our mental health. God, we thank you. Hishahaya. Oh yeah, I, the Holy Ghost is saying I need four of y'all, at least four, to just write thank you Jesus. Just just four people write thank you Jesus because we thanking him that it's already done. It's already done. It's done. Renee, you don't have to worry. It's already done. Melinda, you don't have to worry. It's already done. We give you praise unto the Lamb of God. It's already done in the name of Sister Johnson, it's already done. Monique, it's already done. Sister Monica, it's already done. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you. It's all, you see the need. You, you knew this was going to happen even before it came upon us. We give you praise and we give you glory. It is so right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the Listen to me. Listen to me. I feel the Holy Ghost. I feel the Holy Ghost. I really do. I don't know why. I keep seeing a 37. So I'm going to say this really quickly. Uh, and I don't ever really do this. But I see 37. Thank you for those of you that have already given. But those of you that have not. I want the somebody. I don't know why. But I keep seeing 37. Plant that $37 seed. Plant a $37 seed. I don't know why. I don't know why, but I keep seeing 37. So I'm just going to ask you, those of you that have it, plant that $37 seed really quickly. I don't know. I just keep seeing 37. I feel the power of God is moving for somebody right now. I really have to be honest with this. I feel the power of the Lord moving for somebody right now. I want you to plant that $37 seed. Now, I really did. Now, this is funny, but I really did. It's like a cartoon, but I see God taking a house out. Uh, it's like taking a house out of something. So I don't know if that's you, Renee, that the Lord is taking a house out of foreclosure, but he's taking the house out. It's out of danger. It's out of danger. It's out of danger. So I want uh, uh, those of you that have this $37 seed, I want you to do it. Thank you. Those of you that have already planted your seed, blessings to you. Those of you that have not, I want you to plant this $37 seed. I feel a move of God. My darling sister, tell your husband he shall not miss. He shall not lose. And nothing will be withheld from him. I don't know why he's saying that, but he shall not miss. He shall not lose and nothing will be withheld from him or yourself. Now, the Lord is telling me this. You know, I'm your brother. Let me know what happens. But I absolutely see like mail, something coming in the mail. And that may be different, but I know it's a sign that says something is coming. Finances are coming for you. He's emphasizing this is coming in your name. It's coming in your name. It's coming in your name. So I bless God for you. Edrika, thank you very much. I bless God for you. I want you to stay encouraged. Know that the power of God rests heavy upon you. Tell your husband there's no need to stress. There's no need to worry. The power of God. I think I told you this the other day. I keep seeing a smile. I see the Lord saying he's putting a smile back on your husband's face. And that's a sign to me that says I'm eliminating stress. I know I got to go, y'all. I got to go. I got to go. I got to go. Keisha, oh, I want you to know that the power of God is heavy, heavy, heavy upon you. Because you are an example. You are a leader. You are a vision. This is what he's telling me. You are a vision of what success looks like. Congratulations, my dear. That's what he's telling me. You are a vision of what success looks like. Woo! And uh, oh my God, we thank Him. We thank Him. Oh, y'all, I look so. 
hard, but I gotta get me. I lost a little bit of weight. <laughs> I put my clothes together. Oh, bless God. I pray. I pray that you were blessed. Keep my uncle Ben in prayer that continue. God continue to touch his body. God, we thank you. We speak that you would touch. Touch Uncle Ben right now, and we speak a lifting right now in the name of Jesus. We give you praise that that is happening. And the Lord said, yes, it is. And I want you to know this is what he's telling me. It is happening. It is happening. It is happening right now. It is happening. It's not time for him to go, but it is. I feel a lifting. How are you doing, Matthew Briggs? Thank you very much for being on. God bless your heart. Oh, my God. Oh, we thank you, Father. We thank you. Oh, blessing my wife. She always that in you, you look amazing. Thank you. I'm trying to keep everything together. <laughs> but I want you to stay encouraged, everybody. Ben shall recover. That's the word that I hear. He shall recover. That's what I'm hearing. Okay? So I don't know what the issue may be, but I hear Ben shall recover. Okay? Oh, Dewana, how are you? Blessings to you. Thank you so very much for being on all... Oh, we believe God for his goodness. I pray, everybody, I pray that that you have been blessed on today. I really do. I pray that you have been blessed by the power of God and know that God is blessing. God is blessing. Matthew, pray for me. Asking, uh, I'm asking God to bind diabetes. God, I'm asking that you would touch. I'm asking that you would touch. I'm asking that you would touch. Ikiyasho. Reanda la 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 basanda. Something is happening within your body, uh, Matthew. And so I'm believing God to really touch. I'm believing God to really touch and to move within the body and heal diabetes. I, all I know, he's telling me something is happening within the body. Something is happening within the body. Now, I have to be honest, I see a hospital, but I see also a recovery, okay? So, whatever the difficulty, we're binding that right now, okay? We're binding that right now. So, we're binding that difficulty right now, okay? That's what I'm sensing, okay? We're binding that difficulty right now. So, we're believing God, all right? We're believing God. Oh, how you doing, Cynthia? God bless your heart. Thank you very much for being on to all of you. I pray that you will bless. Oh, we say to God be the glory. Hallelujah. We declare victory over diabetes and because God can. He can do it. Did you hear me? He can do it. There's not nothing that is too hard for the Lord to do. So we thank you, Father God. We give you praise. I pray that you were blessed on today. I pray that you were encouraged on today and know... That God really is real and he is blessing us on today. I thank you. Listen, uh, uh, Cherie says, just continue praying for me and my family and we will do that. Somebody is drawing, Cherie. I feel like somebody is drawing. So I feel like a gift is waking up for somebody or increasing for somebody drawing. Somebody is gifted in that area of drawing, okay? Uh, your grandfather's doing much better. We praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, listen, thank you, those of you that have supported, that have given your offering. And I, 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 I just still see this 37. Uh, those of you that you feel that the Lord is calling you to plant that $37 seed, do it quickly. Do it right now. I thank you very much. I pray. Oh, my God. I, we will do that, Cynthia. I will do it. Dewana, tell your mother that I'm praying for her because right now her, her name comes before me, Ann Palmer. So I want you to let her know that I'm praying for her. I don't know what it is. But now I don't know why I have to pray also for eyesight, Dewana. I'm praying for your mother's eyesight. That's what he's telling me. Okay. Woo! Y'all, I got to go. I got to go. We done, we done got so happy here. And the power of God has met us. And we thank you. We thank you for the anointing. We lift up families to you, Lord. Bless and keep us and prepare us to receive greater. Anybody, are you ready to receive greater? Because remember, you and the Lord are, you're all a team now. The ball is in your court. What you going to do with it? Somebody write this. I got to go. Somebody write this. I am playing to win. That's it. I'm ready to go. Somebody write that. Dewana, can you write that? I am playing to win. I am playing. Your daughter draws. 
her, her drawing is increasing. Watch what God is. Watch what God is saying. I need somebody. Monica said, "I am playing to win." I pray you all were really blessed on today. And keep in mind, that's what we got to do. We got to play to win. God has given you the ball. <laughs> God has given you the ball. Now, what are you going to do with it? All right. What are you going to do with it? We bless God for you. God bless you, Dr. Jackson. I am playing to win. Y'all know I'm a winner. <laughs> I'm a winner. Hallelujah. I am a winner. I bless God for you, all of you. I want you to stay encouraged. Sharon, Elder Samson, I'm so used to calling you that. Hey, we plan to win. Make sure you follow Dr. Mosley. Follow me on Facebook. Connect with me and let's stay together. Let me know of your testimonies. Inbox me. All right, let me know your testimonies. Hey, I'm playing to win. I'm playing to go further in God. Father, we give you praise on today. We thank you for everything that you have done for us. We bless you. And on today, we realize that we are winners. We are team. And God, we thank you that you're looking at me. You're looking at us. You have given us the ball. You've given us great success. And so now we're playing to win. And we are winners. We always win. We are unstoppable. So God, we shall move further. We shall move further in our success. Because our success serves as proof that you are God. It serves as proof that you are with us. It confirms to the mind of the believer that you are who you say you are. We thank you now. Now may the anointing of God continue to flow with us, causing us to achieve more, greater success, greater prosperity, greater peace. It's time for greater in our lives. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, God. Amen. I bless God for you, everybody. I love you dearly. Come on. Now let's continue to win and let's go with God. Will you do it? Inbox me. Let me know your testimonies, okay? I would love to hear it. So don't forget now, inbox me on Facebook. Follow me and let's continue to succeed. I love you. God bless you. We're good, everybody.